Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven with yet another video tutorial, and this one is going to be on creating user bars. I'm not really sure how popular these are anymore, but they're fun to make. And what they are pretty much is just a uh, small user bar for your form signature that pretty much states what you like. Uh, let's see. <laughs> like, I, uh, you know, you're a Firefox user and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, what we're going to want to do is come on over to this website, and I'll post this in the comment for the video. And you're going to want to get this font right here, Visitor BRK. It's a uh, freeware freeware font, and you can install that by, let's see, coming over to your fonts folder, and just drag and drop the fonts right into there, and it'll automatically install. So once you have that, come on into Photoshop, click on Control N and we're going to make a new document six pixels by six pixels <coughs> and right now all we're going to do is make a quick pattern and the pattern is going to be if you look in the background here you'll see those lines going across the back and we're going to make that real quick so open up uh, your layer pal palette double click to unlock it and then click on control A to select it and delete Alright, zoom in, and then come on to your pencil tool, make sure it's one pixel, and black. And we're going to start from this corner and just draw up diagonally. Okay, and then come over to edit, and then define pattern. And I'm going to name this like lines. Okay, click on enter, and then you can just go ahead and close this up. And then click on Control N, and we're going to make the uh, document for the user bar. So we're going to make it 350 by 19. Let's click. Let's change this to transparent, and then click OK. All right. So now I went over to the uh, the Pixel for Life website, and just stole this little figure right here, because I'm going to make a Pixel for Life user bar. So let me just drag and drop this into here. And right now it's scaled very, very large. So I'm going to hold on shift and just scale them down a bit. Maybe we'll make it a bit larger. I don't know. Probably not the best image for this, but eh, it'll work. And then we'll just leave it at that for now. So I'm going to come over to this background layer and I'm going to choose my colors. So for foreground, let's just go with a uh, orange color, maybe. And then for this background, I'm going to select this color and then just make it a bit darker. Um, let me flip those around. So then the lighter ones on top, darker ones on the bottom. I'm going to come over to the gradient tool. Make sure on this layer, hold on shift and drag down. All right. So now double click on this layer come into the blending options come on over to pattern overlay and this is where we're going to use our lines so let me just okay select on here and I already have one made but I'll use the new one we just made and it's called lines you can see select that and it's a bit harsh so I'm going to turn down the opacity okay and let's let's see let's come on up make a new layer above this bottom layer and I'm going to use this elliptical marquee tool and draw it on a, draw it a little uh, curve into there I'm going to make this foreground white select the gradient tool and do this white to nothing I'm going to zoom in I'm going to select about right here, hold on shift and drag up. Let's see. Yeah, I like it better below. And we can either do that or, hold on, let me control Z. Make a new layer, hide this one, and we can just fill it with white. Either way works. I'm going to turn on the opacity to about, let's see. 
20 is probably good. Either one works. Maybe I'll lower this one and have them both on. Alright, so come on, I'm going to double click this. To come to the blending options. And turn on a outer glow. Uh, I'm going to turn up the size a bit. To about 8. Okay. And now I'm going to click on control T and I'm going to rotate him a bit. So it kind of looks like he's laying in here. Uh, let me scale it down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna click Control Enter, and then make a new layer. And this is where we're gonna use that font we just installed. So I'm gonna select the text tool, and you're gonna want to select Visitor BRK. The font size is gonna be 10. Color is white. And then. Uh, click on this, it's the text properties and make sure this one right here is on 25 alright so you can just click in here and we're gonna write pixel for life member okay and then I'm gonna come back over to the layer properties and then the blending options and put a stroke to make it black and one pixel all right that's looking very nice I'm gonna move it over a bit and let me bring this mascot down just so you can see his eyes and that looks very nice um, if you compare it with these other ones it seems to work nicely with it um, this just has a solid uh, opacity you know the uh, the ellipse circle uh, we can turn this layer off right here and it'll be the same thing either way it doesn't matter and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and please comment and let me know if there's anything you want me to do a tutorial on uh, thanks again for watching the video and see you next time